Hello beer tubers and welcome to another beer review with me Peter the master of profits today looking at another one of the beers that was sent to me from Andre in the UK so thanks a ton to Andre for the beer this is not part of the whole odyssey I did because those were like some high rated uh, hyped UK IPAs and all of them were great so this one should be great too I hope this is from Cloudwater and this is from their spring and summer series and this is their session bitter <laughs> on 4.5%. It's funny that they call it Session Bitter. I think it's a mashup of Session IPA and Bitter, because bitters are usually very sessionable. But they say that this is a modern twist on a traditional English bitter featuring US and Australian hops and fruity esters from Vermont yeast, or Vermont ale yeast, originally an English strain. And uh, yeah, the hops in here are Chinook and Vic's Secret Hops. They use, uh, yeah, alpha, uh, Pilgrim Alpha CO2 extract for bittering, just like uh, in, uh, I think they used that in the, uh, the double IPA version 3.2, and that malt is extra pale, Maris Otter, wheat, and caramel. So a little more of a traditional malt backbone, kind of, it's probably the British part of it, but this is also a little bit older. This is like a month plus old, if not more, uh, the, this one, and also the Citra IPA I have, but hopefully it'll, it'll be still holding up. It looks kind of like, like a Vermont, type beer. It does not look like a traditional British bitter if you think of regional breweries and whatnot. It's a nice hazy yellow color, kind of looking like a pale ale or session IPA. Let's check out the aroma. That's why head as well, but let's check out the aroma on the session bitter by Cloudwater. Mm, that's pretty nice. Uh, very lemony orangey and peachy. Very stone fruit forward. I think this maybe showcases the, the New England or the Vermont ale yeast more so than uh, the very hoppy ones does because the hops are a little bit more toned down on this. I'm getting lots of esters, almost bubblegum, and that kind of well, there is kind of a bubblegum thing, and definitely peach, stone fruit, citrus. A little bit of it doesn't smell like I don't, I'm not smelling old hops or anything. A little bit of bready, sweet, kind of biscuity malt, traditional uh, bitter type malt aroma, but it's light, it's fairly. Hop board smells pretty good. It smells like a very sessional beer. So let's give the Cloud Water uh, Session Bitter a taste from the spring and summer rains. Cheers and thanks a ton to Andre for the beer. I could drink this by the bucket, <laughs> but wow, it's got an acrid, dry, chalky, bitter hop flavor on the back end. Up front, I got a glass of citrus and peach. And then on the back end, like an almost acrid hop, almost like a hop burn, <laughs> if you could say it like that. Light mouthfeel, lightly chewy. It's like light as cider medium. It's lightly chewy. You still get a little bit of the esters from the the Mont Ale yeast. I actually think it almost tastes like hop. I, I, they use hop extract for bittering. If you've ever tasted hop extract, it's super acrid and bitter. That really kind of shines through. I think it's because it's a lighter beer, so the hops extract maybe shines through a little bit more. It doesn't have as malt, much like malt and alcohol to balance it out. But it's got some nice flavor still. Some grassy, very peppery and spicy. That Chinook kind of uh, floral, piney grassy thing is going. The stone fruit subsides a little more on the flavor. It's mostly the... Um, what? The... Um, the, 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 the kind of acrid, bitter kind of flavors, the citrus, the lemon. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good, but it's not really on the level of the others. Or the others, the double IPA version two, which was also crazy good. It's still a nice beer, but um, I'm not too hooked at that intense, acrid, kind of bitter aftertaste on it. It's very bitter for a session beer. But still nice flavors. So rain wise, I'm like, 85, 86, let's go 86. It's it's a nice sessionable beer, but the bitter, acrid, bitter, dry, chalky hop extract flavor is a little too intense for me. I prefer the more juicy, intense flavors that were on uh, Double IPA Vision 2, for example. So yeah, guys, l let me know what you think of the Cloudwater Spring and Summer Series Session Bitter. I mean, I think it was brewed at Sessier. Uh, okay, bottled. I think, yeah, bottled in, six, in February, so it's actually holding up very well considering that because there's no old hop flavor. Also a very bitter grapefruit and the like pithy grapefruit flavor, but yeah, still tasty stuff, worth a go for sure. 
since in the spring and some in the spring and summer range, I'm sure they're going to rebrew it uh, for the warmer months too. So check it out. Thanks a ton to Andre for the beer. You rule, dude. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And I want to say cheers and see you guys in another beer review.